first one I'm going to show you is this CVP 509 in a beautiful rosewood finish, which is really, really nice to look at. Um, it was the top of the range at the time. When the 500 series was new, the 09 of the range was always the top model, and this is the top model, so it is top spec. Um, let's have a listen. notice is actually the touch of the piano. Now you've got wooden keys on the piano here which is really really essential in my opinion if you're a piano player um, because it emulates that of a real traditional acoustic piano um, and you want that with digital stuff you don't want to compromise um, and this gives you the best of both worlds and that sound this you've got two speakers here speaker underneath um, big speaker and it's just it's a big sound it's not even full volume. If you went any higher, you'd definitely annoy the neighbours, that's for sure. But it's beautiful. The keys really make you control the light and shade, the hard and soft. Really beautiful sound. Um, and there are loads of voices on the CVP. The thing about the CVP series is they do so much. The V in, in CVP stands for versatile, and it is just that. There are, there are rhythms, there are voices, um, lots of bells and whistles, really. And I know that some traditional players think, well, I don't want that, but I think it can actually enhance your playing, and I'm going to show you how now. Um, I'm going to take a song. You probably recognise it. It was very popular while, a while back, um, and I'm just going to play it on the piano, um, first of all, and then I'll, I'll show you something else. So here's the song, I'm sure you know the tune. very pretty um, but sometimes you want a little bit more you want drums you want bass you want you want a bit of a backing to, to fill it out a little bit um, and if your drummer friends on holiday and, and your bass players at work uh, you, you can't but with the CVPs you can um, and I'll show you how you've got the style section which is basically the rhythms and the backing section um, and you've got all of these styles uh, of, of drum beats. You've got pop rock, ballad, dance, swing jazz, all these categories. Um, and I've picked pop and rock. And if you look on the screen, you have uh, pages and pages of styles. All of these different styles on, on these pages. You've got five pages in pop and rock and you can scroll through all of them. Um, I'm gonna pick 70s Easy Pop. Now when I press play, you get a drum beat. So I could, I think that sounds a bit flat. There's not much going on. It's just the backing and just the piano. What about the bass? What about the other instruments? So what you do is you press the accompaniment button, tap that on. Now, whatever I play, the instrument will follow me. And I think you'll be really surprised at how great it sounds. Let's have a listen. OTS link. Now what OTS link does is it recommends you voices. So whatever style you pick it will suggest to you voices that it thinks works for that style. Um, so now when I play you'll hear a difference um, and I think this this particular instrument sounds really good with this song. Here we go.
awesome. Just, you know, seconds and I've lifted, amplified, transformed that song in, in the, the click of a few buttons and you can do it with any song, any song you like, any song you've learned. You can go through all these, all of the styles that are built in. Um, it's not just pop and rock, you can do ballad, dance, ballroom, swing and jazz, I'll click a random one, cool jazz, play a chord. <laughs> dinner party, it's brilliant, it's awesome. And you can play through. So easy. So this is some of the other instruments. Now actually, something that I do want to talk about is that particular sax sound. Can you hear that? That 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 um, slide. Now that particular slide and that particular style is is called super articulation voices, and this particular one is called super articulation two. Um, and what that means is the way Yamaha have sampled it, the way they've recorded the sound is so refined and so specific um, that it gives you all these nuances and it just makes, you know, it's very subtle but it just makes all the difference. So you've got the jazz sax, when you play an octave it does a slide. If I put my foot on the pedal, it changes the attack of the note. So now when I play, see if you can just pick out the little articulations because I think they make all the difference. Have a listen. just the saxophones actually you can go through any of the voices within the instrument and you'll find lots of different articulations like that the acoustic guitar for example you'll hear the fret noises can you hear those little fret noises all the nuances CVPs, they they give you this real sense of um, realism within the voices. You, they don't sound fake. They sound really um, refined and, and crisp, um, and you can get lost in it. I do playing down here. I do get lost in. It.